Okay everyone, so in this next video, what I want to do is show you here on how I created an invoice tracker. So at least you can go and customize this on your own. At least you'll have an idea also that this is a good thing to start, uh, especially if you're starting out in web development. Having some sort of way for you to monitor your income, your profit. Let's say for example, you decide to go and put up your own freelancing business, this might be an option that you might want to choose. And of course, we would want to have some sort of way for us to monitor our income so that we can also uh, ensure that we will be able to uh, utilize the invoiced tracker that we will be creating in this video for tax purposes if we will be operating as an actual business, right? So I just wanted to create this video here so at least you'll have some sort of way for you to also monitor your own income. So right now, we have our transaction number here. Let's have a transaction number, the month when the transaction uh, was done. Let's have an invoice date, invoice number. Let's have a company name or client name. Let's say we have a company or client. Then let's have a deposit invoiced. Invoiced. Let's also have here the date paid. When did the client pay you? Uh, did they fully pay you? Is it overdue? So, payment status. Let's say payment status. Let's have here um, payment types will also be something that we can monitor. Payment types. Let's also have here the cost. How much did the client pay you? Let's just change this to a heron here. Let's also center the text. Date paid, invoice, company name. Let's go change the color to green. And let's have Client reference number, cost. So, so have a client reference number. We can also have here a service category. Detailed description and other remarks. We might want to put some remarks here. And the location from where the client operates. So let's now go add at least, let's say 50 first. 50 transactions perhaps would be good. Or 100 transactions. If we're going to estimate that this will be for the whole year, right? Okay, so let's <clears throat> let's have this. Let's center all of the text. Now let's go and add another sheet for some menus. Now let's go and work on some of the months. Let's have a menu for the months. That will be January onwards, right? Up to December. Let's have a menu for the deposit invoice. This, is, this will serve as the milestone that you can have with the client. Having some sort of 
uh, contract with the client when it comes to the payment method it's good that you have a deposit coming from the client 50% 30% you can try to um, modify this depending on how you think this will be good for your operation deposit 10% deposit let's have a 50% final invoice let's say 30% second deposit invoice um, 30% third deposit invoice let's have a 10% final deposit invoice and full payment let's see the client did pay in full right now let's have a service category that involves the services that you would want to include into your services as a web developer right you might want to accept transcription jobs video editing audio editing logo design banner design can be another option having a web design or web development uh, let's have uh, WordPress or CMS, database, product photography if you want to go and provide them with uh, services for photography, photo editing, uh, SEO services, newsletter design, digital marketing, animation, game development, and other possible sources of income for your freelance business. Let's also have here a menu for payment status. Are they fully paid? Are they partially? Par they, did they provide partial payment? Or are they overdue, the clients that you have uh, based from your contract? So these are some of the menus. Now let's go and try to implement that here in our month option here. Let me just use the data validation option of Excel here. Data validation. Create a list. Then use the source that we've created in the menu. Worksheet. Click OK. Now we have the following months. Okay. We can also go and try to We'll see is that now we have the option for our um, transactions here okay so let's go and have here let's say this is going to be for the month of February invoice date let's have an invoice date here uh, let's say today is February 9 2022 then invoice number we can have the name of your company then let's just generate an invoice number here then let's say a client uh, we have a uh, let's say Wayne Corporation deposit invoice we can also add a data validation option for that let's create a list then go to menus, you have the deposit invoice here, click OK, let's say they paid full payment, date paid will be February 9, let's give this a bit of a space here, and the payment status, let's also add a validation for that, we can use the list that we've created, in the menu option here fully paid overdue or partial payment we know that they paid fully paid so full payment fully paid payment status payment types let's also add a data validation here let's have a list Payment types, 
Okay, so we don't have payment types yet in our menu. So let me just cancel this. Let's create one for our payment types. Let's have payment types. Possible payment. Cash payment. Bank transfer. PayPal. Here in our country, we have GCash. PayMaya. Check. Others. Now let's go and use that list so that we can validate here. Create a source and select the following options here. Let's say they paid through GCash. The cost will be 500 pesos. Let's change this to uh, Philippine peso in our case. Now for the client reference number, I would want to identify which client this is. So we can go and use concatenate. Concatenate. And we have the Wayne Corporation Company. Comma. Then let's have a dash here. Uh, let's have strings here. So let's have a dash character. And then we want to combine that with our invoice number. So that that will be the referenced number that we can provide this company okay or the client service category same data let's add a data validation here create a list get the list from our menus so you can just add this uh, add some more information here if you want so logo design was the task that they uh, ask us to do so logo design for new um, product of Wayne Corp. Okay, let's say this is going to be in the Philippines. <clears throat> let's save that. Now that's it, guys. We now have the following information for us to be able to utilize the information. Of course, we also want to have this selected. Perhaps we can adjust this to um, some options here. Let's say we have an, uh, we want to add some visual representation if they're fully paid, uh, if they're overdue, uh, did they partially pay. So at least we also get to easily visually analyze our invoice tracker here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, go to home here, conditional formatting create a new rule here and add some rules here and I would want to go assign a value here fully paid I'm not going to use an absolute value but a relative one and let's have an equal sign there equal sign fully paid then um, format here let's give this a color of green okay that's color green now let's go and have a new rule here's another format now let's go and add dollar sign h3 and partial payment Let's go choose this, I think this is orange, apply, click on that. So we have partial payment, fully paid, and overdue. Let's create another rule here. So same deal. Now let's go and assign the column H3, overdue. Then let's give it a color of red. Click OK. Apply. Let's go and test. Fully paid. Partial payment. And overdue. So let's just go and have all of this prepared for us. Now, let's go and try to fill out some more information here. So, let's have February. 
it's just February here. February, let's see, February 9, 2022, another client. Let's just go and feel series this. Let's say Queens Corporation. And this time, they paid 50% deposit. Save that. And because it's 50% deposit for our second client for the day, let's just go and put here partial payment. There we go. We now have that. If it's red, it's working now. And let's have some of the payments method that we have here. They paid cash. Let's see, another 500. It's just... Uh, same rule here. It's just have zero first. And let's have 500 again. And they have here, uh, let's see here. There we go. We have automatically generated a client reference number for a specific client. And we have here logo. Let's say this time they had a banner design. Banner for new product of Queens Corporation. Let's just try to correct this. This came from the US. So there we go, guys. We now have a uh, invoice tracker that we can utilize for tracking the transactions that we've done for certain clients or a person. Uh, if ever you will be starting with freelancing.